six at the top right corner. All right, and 46 um, is, pro is not going to be real hard for y'all, I don't believe, okay? But we're going to learn how to write 4.025 in expanded notation. <gasps> this is a little bit harder. Yes. Uh, you would do... Let's do an example of 525 as an expanded notation first. Okay? How would I do that? Yes, Isaac? 500 times 1. Almost. You're kind of switching a little bit around. Yes? 5 times 100. 5 times 100. So basically, I take my number, 5, times, and what place is that in? Hundreds. So I would put 100. Everybody see that? Plus 2 times, what place is this in? 10. 10's place. 10. Plus... Five times what place is this in? One. One. That's how I would do expanded notation for a regular whole number. Okay? But this is a regular whole number, but these are decimal numbers. So, watch what we're going to do. <coughs> Somebody help me with this one. It's really a simple one because it's before the decimal. Four times one. Four times one because why? This is in my ones place, right? Okay? Good. Plus. Now, do we do zeros? No. No. Remember how if I had 405, I would just skip this all together. And I would say 5 times 100 plus 5 times 1. Everybody remember that? If you had a zero, you would just skip that number? Okay, so we're going to skip this one. Okay? Let's not because I want to try to make a point. Okay? Let's say it says 1. Now. We're going to say one times. What place is this in? Tenths. But if I put a ten down, that's tens. You could put a TH. Okay, that's good thinking. Actually, what you're going to do is put a one over a ten because that's tenths. Okay? Everybody see what we did? Yes. Okay? So I would not put a 10 there. That would be tens. I do one tenth with this, which makes tenth. Okay? Isaac, you want to try the next one? Mm -hmm. it'd be, it could be um, 1 over 50 if it was, if it was uh, reduced or 2 over 100. What are you talking about, baby? This one? Yeah. No, no. Just tell me that one right now. Oh, 2 over 100. No, no. This is the number. One goes here. Four goes here. So what's going to go in my very first spot? Two. Two. Two times, and what place is that in? Hundreds. So you're going to put one over hundred, because this says hundreds. One hundred. One over hundreds. So everybody see what we did? Okay. So all I'm doing is writing my number here, and then telling you what place is in here. Okay, you want to try the last one, Chesty? Okay, I don't have enough room, so I'm going to put it right here. You would do what? Five, Five times one over thousand, because that's thousandths place, which this says thousandths. Yes, Nicholas? How come is it, well, is it always, for like, you did two, is it always... Yes, you always put the one right here. I think I did confuse Isaac and you know, surprise some of y'all. You always have your one over that because that is tenths. If I had two, it would be two tenths. But one just makes it tenths. Okay? Everybody got it? Everybody understand? Okay, good stuff. All right, y'all tell me what this number is. I'm going to put it in expanded notation, and y'all are going to tell me what number it is. Write it on your paper. Oh, I didn't see this thing here. It's wonderful. Okay. Player? Points. I forgot to do this. Sorry. Point four zero five. Let's see if she's right. Point four 
zero, five. Okay? This one is saying it's in what place? Tenths, and it's going to be a number? Four. Four is my four in my tenth spot. Yes. yes. This one says it's in what place? Thousands. Thousands, tenths, hundreds, thousands. And what number is it? Five. So five goes here and four goes here. But something has to go there. So you would add a zero. Excellent job. Got it? Yep. Everybody feel like they understand? Okay. Now, this is the easy, easy, easy part is we're going to multiply mentally decimal numbers by 10 and 100. Okay, this is a really cool thing. If I said 2.4 and I multiplied that by 10, who remembers how to do these? Move your decimal one spot to the left. Almost. To the right. Very good. <laughs> Multiplying, what you're going to do is you're going to say, how many zeros do I have? One. So guess what I'm going to do? I'm going to move my decimal place one time. And multiplying, you're going to move it to the right. If it was dividing, you would move it to the left. That's another lesson. But that's kind of cool, isn't it? So to multiplying, we're going to move it one spot to the right. So 2.4 times 10 is going to be 24. What is 2.4 times 100? Oh. Yes, Claire. 240. 240. Why? Because, because there zero. are two zeros, which makes us move the decimal two times, one, two, which would give us 240. Eliza, what's 2.4 times 1,000? How many spots? Three times. Very good. One, two, three. What's my answer going to be? Two times. It would be this number. Two, uh, two hundred. Almost. Two, four, zero, zero, which is going to give us two thousand. One, two, three, two thousand four hundred. Pretty cool, isn't it? Pretty neat how you can do that. Okay. Try this one. 3.75 times 10 and hold up the number. Hold it up on your paper. Wait, what? Do this one. Tell me what the answer is. Hold it up. Yes. 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 You almost. Yes. 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 What you should have done is you should have known that it's just one zero, which means we're going to move it one time, and because it's multiplication, you're moving it to the right. So it would become 37.5. Very good. Okay? Try that. 3.75 times 100. Tell me what you get. Yes, 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 yeah, almost, yes, uh, no, no, okay, so here I have how many zeros? Two, so it's 3.75, and if I move it two to the right, one, two, what does it become? 375. 375. Everybody understand? Okay, now watch this. This is kind of cool. 1.2 divided by 0 0.4, and we're multiplying times 10 on both of them. Now remember, when you're multiplying fractions, you go boom times boom and boom times boom. Got it? So 1.2 times 10 becomes what, Isaac? Um, 120. Almost. 1.2, and I'm going to move it one spot to the right, which becomes 12. Oh, I thought it was 12 times 10. Oh, you didn't see that dot. Sorry. Let me make that bigger. Okay? And that's 0 0.4, and I have one zero, so I'm going to move it one spot to the right, so it becomes four. My final answer is? Three. Three. Very good.
Everybody got it? Yes. That's it. Yay! Everybody feel like they understand? Yeah.